Hi, it's Julie, welcome back. So today I want to go over what I bought at SoCo Glam. A few months back, I got interested in the Korean skincare 10-step method, even though I didn't wanna do all of the 10 steps. I still wanted to find out what they did differently and why, what ingredients that they used that might be different and what kind of effect they had. And it kind of got me excited. I started watching more of Gothamista. I found Charlotte Cho on Soko Glam, her YouTube channel. And I started watching a lot of those kinds of videos to try to learn some more things. And I ordered quite a bit of stuff. So one of the things I wanted to make sure and pick up was this little book of skincare. It says Korean Beauty Secrets for Healthy Glowing Skin by Charlotte Cho. She is, the, she is a board certified esthetician and she is um, curating the best of Korean beauty products, bringing it to um, the US and other places to make it more accessible and understandable. And this book, I haven't started reading it yet, um, but I'm really excited in this book from the little pictures and everything, kind of diagrams it out, gives you um, a really good idea of what to do when and why if you want to do all of the steps. And what I love about this is it's not a recipe that you must follow. You can incorporate whatever skincare that you already own, um, things that you've got at Ulta, the drugstore, Sephora, high-end, you know, budget, anything that actually works for your skin, you can incorporate into a routine. And basically that is what this is. It's giving your skin what it needs, when it needs it. So I picked up, a couple of balm cleansers and a couple of second step cleansers. So in the Korean skincare routine, they double cleanse and they start off with a balm. I've been using Pharmacy's Green Clean and I love that balm. It does the job, it's perfect, but it is expensive. It's $38 and I have gone through it very quickly. I think I'm on my third tub now. So I wanted to look into some Korean brands which are cheaper and see if they worked as well. And so far right now I'm using the Clean It Zero by Vanilla Co. You might have heard of this. Um, a lot of other YouTubers are talking about the Korean skincare and beauty products as well. And um, this works great, comes with a little um, product scoop. I use the double cleanse in the evening only when I want to take off on my makeup, especially my Sunscreen, it really, you really need to be able to break down your sunscreen. Your sunscreen is meant to stick to your skin. And so you really can benefit from a double cleanse if you use sunscreen every day. And then the other cleansing balm that I picked up is by E Nature and it's the Moringa cleansing balm. And it was a smaller tub than I thought it might be. So I'm going to do a little cost thing and put the prices up, but I have not used this yet. Does not come with a little scooper, but I'll just use the one that came in another one. It smells good. I'll see how both of these compare to my um, Pharmacy Green Clean. So far, I like the Clean It Zero just as well. So I'm really happy with this purchase, and I believe it's about $16 cheaper for, let me see. Yeah, about $16 cheaper, 15, 16. Then for a second cleanse, I wanted to get a very gentle water-based cleanser, and that is so difficult to find. Um, I have tried so many that have come recommended at Sephora and, and at the drugstore, and my skin feels tight and stripped, and I have had to return so many of them. So anyway, so I picked up the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser couple um, of women have shown this, a few of them actually have shown this recently on YouTube and I thought that would be a great place to start. I've only used it once and I felt like it was the least stripping, it probably doesn't strip, but my skin felt the least tight after using this than um, compared to the other ones. And then I also picked up for travel because I just thought it was the coolest thing and they said it was very gentle. It's by Neogen. It's the Real Fresh Cleansing Stick with Green Tea. 
And let me take this off. It would be great for travel, not being a liquid. And you can see it's got real green tea leaves in it. Isn't that cool? One thing about Korean beauty products, skincare, is that the ingredients tend to be more real. They tend to have fewer fillers, which is fabulous. And the cost seems to be lower. So this I would use you could use it in the morning, but this I would use in the evening after using a balm and taking my makeup off, rinsing, and then I would go in while my face is wet, I've used this once, and go around gently and just apply some of the product, and then with my hands, massage it in and get all the remnants of whatever's left on my skin, rinse that off. It has a very slight exfoliation to it because of the green tea leaves that are in it, but it's very gentle. It isn't at all um, abrasive, really. So then what I picked up, partially because it just sounded so cool, I wanted to give it a try. It's also by Neogen. It's the Bio Peel Gauze Peeling um, Pads, and this one is in wine. And it's this big tub, comes with these um, pads that are soaked in this, um, slightly exfoliating serum and what it does is it opens up at the bottom you can put two fingers in on this side it's got a slightly rough texture but it's not irritating at all to my sometimes sensitive skin and you um, gently massage that on your skin after you've washed and then you can turn it around and it's got a smooth very um, just a soft smooth side to it and you can go over and if you've exfoliated anything off it just sweeps it away then you rinse they come in different they have a green tea one they have this wine one and they also have a lemon one I picked up the lemon as well and these have different ingredients in them this one was more for anti-aging so I wanted to be sure to pick this one up and I will list some of the ingredients trying to get through this video pretty quickly. Then um, after that, what I got to apply is a serum spray by H2 Dermadeca. Oh, it's, it's by Neogen Naturals actually. And it's for sensitive skin and it's serum spray H2 Dermadeca. And it looks like this. And it's actually an aerosol. It's very, very fine. I don't know if you can see that super lovely fine mist so if you wanted to in the morning after you get out of the shower even you can immediately spritz your face your neck your decolletage just to um, get that first bit of hydration going i love to do that because um, i do have well water and my skin does tend to tighten up immediately so this is great and i don't know that i'll use all these things every day in fact these toning pads our exfoliating pads are meant to be used once or twice a week only. And so far I can tolerate it twice a week and I have fairly sensitive skin, but I have been using acids and, and retin-A and things like that, so my skin is okay with it. And then I got a sample in the, the box of Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. Skin rebalancing, deeply hydrating for all skin types. You can use at night and in the morning and so I, I got two of them and I opened one and used it yesterday and today in the morning. It is incredible. It feels so good. It's very thick, but it sinks right in. Your skin really drinks it in. I Once I've gone through a couple of serums and things that I have, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this because I really enjoyed it. It said how to use it is after cleaning and toning, apply this serum after your essence when your skin is still damp. So depending on if you use an essence or not, that's the step that you would use it. And I love it. Okay, then I picked up another toner, Aloe BHA Skin Toner by Benton. Let's see if it'll pick this up. And this said it's for um, all skin types. I Whoa, oh, it's really runny. Okay, it just ran right off my hand has no scent whatsoever. Oh, that felt just 
slightly thicker than water. Oh, but it feels really, really good. The first ingredient is aloe, so it's very hydrating. I was a little bit concerned because it is good for acne prone skin and I get occasional hormonal breakouts or breakouts due to weather or food or whatever is going on, but I really don't get breakouts very often. So I thought, well, I don't know if I'll be able to use this that much. It does have salicylic acid, but it is 0.05%. The majority of this is aloe vera, and then it has a little bit of snail secretion, which is very um, healing and restoring and calming. So even though it sounds like such a weird, odd, sticky um, ingredient, I can't, I can't, it's not sticky at all. That just absolutely absorbed right into my skin. I'm super excited to use that. That has hyaluronic acid in it, very nice. And then, <laughs> don't mean to, it's kind of freaking me out that I bought this. It's by CosRx. It's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I'll open this. I plan on using this in the evening. It is supposed to be very sticky. So let's see if we can take a look at how, I don't want to, I don't want to gross myself out or anybody else, but let's see, yeah. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. It's not as sticky as I thought it would be. Okay, it has no scent whatsoever and it actually has a nice consistency. Hey, that's great. And like I said, it is very healing and restoring and calming for your skin. And where I would use it would be in the evening after putting on my Retin-A and letting that absorb, I would go ahead and um, pump some into the palms of my hands and press that onto my skin because um, Retin-A or glycolic acid, uh, any other acid you're using on your skin can cause um, a little bit of irritation because they're doing a particular job. They are um, active ingredients. And so this, going over top of that, I think will be very um, beneficial. For my skin, I tend to get very red and I can get dry, so. Anyway, let's see what else. Okay, the last thing I picked up was this, it's by CosRx. It's the Acne Pimple Ma Master Patch. This little um, baggie here opens and you get, I believe, 24 little pimple patches is what they are. And when you have a breakout, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, they come in different sizes. There's 24 of them in here. They've got, they're like stickers and you peel them up off. They have, um, looks like two different sizes, smaller and, no, three different sizes. And you would apply them like a sticker onto your, um, onto your acne, but you wanna make sure not to have a lot of moisturizer or oil, facial oil over your acne when you try to apply the sticker. It makes sense, right? It wouldn't stick. So you want to either dab that off, let it absorb fully, or kind of go around maybe that portion on your skin and then put that on and that just protects it. This, from what I can read, a lot of it is in you know foreign language. From what I can tell, it, protects it and it pulls the um, dirt and and it pulls the bacteria out. It's I thought it would be a good dupe for the Peace Out Acne um, Healing Dots. You get 20. This is a much cuter package. You get two little um, bags like this. It's just adorable packaging. And you get, you only get 20. They're all the same size. They are like this, they're the bigger size. They peel off, stick, same thing overnight, leave it on. But this one has a little bit of salicylic acid, vitamin A and aloe vera in it. So this I believe is a little bit more of a treatment unless, um, if I find out that the Acne Pimple Master Patch has treatment in it, I will um, put it up on the screen so that you can see it. But from what I can tell, 
This for $5, um, all the reviews are excellent. It works very, very well. But this, you only get 20 instead of 24 and it is $20. So it is way more expensive. But it does have the salicylic acid in the treatment in it. I've used this and I've had my daughters use these and they work great. I will let you know how these work, but if these do just as good of a job and maybe they do have something in there that, that is a treatment, it is an excellent dupe, much cheaper. So that's it for my haul, it's quite a bit. I have to have time using all of these things to know if they will work really well for my skin. But I'm excited. I love the idea that um, the Koreans really do enjoy their skincare. They really enjoy, in the morning and in the evening, taking care of their skin. They mask quite a bit, and it is a pleasure, and they find pleasure in it. And so I want to find pleasure in it. At the end of the day, the last thing that I really want to do is take off my eye makeup, wash my face, and then wash it again, and then you know, put on all the serums and moisturizers, but I want to have um, a good experience. I want to really enjoy the products and I want to take really good care of my skin. So um, I'll let you know how this journey goes with the Korean skincare. And if you have any questions or comments, I know a lot of you out there are seeing more videos on the Korean skincare and you're also using it. So let me know if you found anything that works really well. Thanks so much for watching, spending some time with me. I hope you subscribe and stick around and have a great week. I'll see you in my next video.